and I am back with another cleaning video for you. Today we're working on the Keurig. Love my Keurig. I would like to keep it forever because they're very expensive. You see how messy they can get. That's what the catch tray is for. It's for little drips of coffee. And I've got some dust on there because I keep it under a cabinet. Every time we open and shut the door, the dust falls. Here is the tank. It comes off easily. Just lift up and pull out. There's a filter inside that has to be removed, so you just very easily pull that out. You can replace it if you want or reset it. You can see some water lines on there. All right, I'm just gonna put the tank back on and get out the good old vinegar. I'm gonna fill the tank up to the top and we're gonna run some vinegar through the machine to clean it out and freshen it up. It's gonna make the coffee taste so much better when it's done. So here we are, running on the largest cup setting into my measuring cup. This is more time consuming really than anything else. Here's the next one. When this vinegar runs through, you don't necessarily need to use it for anything else. You can just empty it out. I'm catching mine in a container over here so that I can use the vinegar to clean around the other parts later on the machine. You'll notice that it gets clearer and clearer each cup that you put through. And there's the third one. There's no cup inside. You don't have to use any type of cup at all, not even the reusable ones. There's just nothing in there. You just lift it to reset it and close it and press the large cup setting. It's my baby girl peeking around the corner there. And a little bit still remains in there. I'm gonna go ahead and dump that out and fill it up with fresh water. Now the idea is to use a lot of water to run. It may take more than one cycle to run through there until you no longer smell or taste the vinegar. So you see how the crud builds up on the inside there? Gross. All right, I'm just taking a pipe cleaner here to get in all those crevices. I folded it over once and wound it tightly and then I'm gonna fold it over again and wound, wind it tightly gonna get a little bit of vinegar on it and then I'm gonna go in all those little cracks and crevices that I can't reach with a towel so that looks much better there are places that I still couldn't get so I'm gonna break out some more tools here is the bottom of a baby bottle brush and it works pretty good in there you then I'm going to take a spoon and place it in this rag and go into the places that are narrow, like toward the back of the cup holder. Okay, running some more water through. And again. All of this water is just going to go right into the sink. I'm just wiping everything down, drying it all off. I take that water filter and put it back inside the tank. And replace the tank on the side. Make sure it locks down. I'm gonna add more water. So this is the second tank of water so far. And one good way to tell if there's still vinegar in the water, you can smell it when it comes out. You can smell, it's, you know, you know what vinegar smells like. I don't have to get too descriptive on that. You don't want to smell that anymore. There's my third tank of water. I'm 
All right, so here it is all wiped down and fresh. Nice and clean and great coffee comes afterwards. I'd love for y'all to subscribe and stick around. Got more cleaning videos coming up. Thumbs up if you like to keep a spick and span house. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.